Hello there. Today we are going to be talking about seventh chords and sus chords and how to find them uh, and add nine chords even. Uh, first we just need to know a couple of real quick things, the major scale, the minor scale, and how to count intervals. So here's a real quick uh, refresher. You may want to practice this stuff for a little bit first if you don't know it because it takes a while. Anyways, uh, down to the piano. So we're going to start uh, in the key of C major and A minor, which is the same key. And we're going to talk about the major scale in steps. So whole step is two notes, half step is one note, half step, whole step. So the major scale goes root, starting at C for this one, whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. All right, and then the minor scale goes root, whole, half, And then we can count uh, these scales, we can count the steps as numbers, and those are the intervals I'm going to be talking about today. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight and one are the same. And for the minor scale, same. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And these steps work for any key, so say we'll switch to the key of, I don't know, G-sharp minor. Root, whole, half, whole, whole, half, whole, whole. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, relative key here is B. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All the same notes. Root, whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. Right, so that's our brief rundown. If this stuff doesn't sound familiar to you, you may want to spend some more time on it before trying out all these crazy chords we're going to do today. So I'm going to start with uh, sus2 and sus4. Those are, I think, the easiest. So a C chord comes from 1, 3, 5 on our scale. One, two, three, four, five. Right? Sus means suspended third. So we take away three. And then two or four. So C, sus two, sus four. And we can do the same thing on any of these chords. A minor, sus two, sus four. Now there's a couple of spots in key where some of these things may not work. There we go. So for example, one, two, three, four, five. On an F major scale, one, two, three, four, five, you notice there is a sharp key. That's not gonna work in the key of C major. Still, F sus four sounds great, it just doesn't go in the key of C major, because you know, that's that note's not in it. Um, let's do, that, that's it, that's sus2 and sus4, you can do it in any key. Let's move our key and do it one more time. G sharp minor, sus2, sus4, and our relative key is B, sus2, sus4, yeah, <laughs> there we go. Cool, that's sus chords, that's not too bad, huh? Now we have seventh chords, these are a little trickier. Um, you know what? I'm going to talk about add nine first because add nine is uh, a little easier than seventh. Now, you may have noticed we have eight steps in our scale. So where do you get nine from? Well, if you keep going past eight and the whole thing starts over, nine is just two. The, it means played in the next octave. So nine is just two, but further up. So if we go C major one more time, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, but it's also it's really two. There's no nine. It's just to tell you to play it in the next octave. So, that's not too bad. C add nine. We do A minor add nine. Let's see. C major add nine. A minor add nine. And they'll see that in a different key. So we'll go to G sharp minor again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. G sharp minor add nine. It's kind of a nice way to start a tune or a melody, maybe. Let's see, the relative key is B. So where's B? That's eight. One more is nine. Two, but nine, you know. B 
he had nine. We'll get to uh, this on guitar in, in just a little bit, um, but we got to cover seventh chords first. So seventh chords, a little trickier. We do. I have a, a way to always give you the correct seventh chord in the key. There's three types of seventh chords that we can do. We have major seventh, minor seventh, and dominant seventh, which sucks. There's more types of seventh chords than we even have scales that we're basing them off of. I'll tell you right now, dominant seventh means major chord flat seven. So we'll, we'll go through these in the key of C major to make it a little easy. C, C major seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh. There we go. Right? D minor seven. And you notice in this key, they're all the same shape. Only this key, <laughs> because it has no sharps and flats. We have E minor seven. F major 7. Now here's where things get a little tricky. If we want to stay in the key of C major, or any key that we're in, if we want to stay in key, uh, the interval before the minor root, A is the minor root, G is before the minor root, that interval, you can't do a major 7th chord there. It's got to be a dominant 7th chord, because in G major scale, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, uh, 7, 8. So this note, Sounds lovely, but it doesn't fit in the key of C major, which has no sharps and flats. So we play G dominant 7 instead to stay in key. But hey, you know, you can leave key if you want to. It's just a suggestion, not a rule. And then we're back to A minor 7. If you want to play B diminished, you can do the same shape. It's nothing great. Don't worry about it. That's seventh chords. Um, that's, that's it. Let's do it in a different key one more time. That dominant note is our minor root. Back to our major root. That's the whole key in seventh chords. I hope this has been helpful. Uh, for most people, you're not going to memorize all this in one go. You're going to want to bookmark this video, come back to it every time you need to play seventh chords. It's not cheating to look. You have to look. You have to use the resources available to be able to memorize it and practice it. Nobody can just watch this watch this stuff or absorb this stuff in one sitting, uh, whether it be through a book or whatever. It's, it takes practice, you're going to have to come back, you're going to have to work on it multiple times. So be patient with yourself and enjoy working with your new chord types. I hope this has been helpful.